Hey, what's going on guys? I usually don't do NBA talk, but I miss basketball so much and just finished watching the NBA draft. Had to talk about this blockbuster trade. It could change the landscape of the NBA or at least on the East Coast specifically. Um, these guys are actually contenders against the Miami Heat for the next championship if this trade goes through. Uh, as you can see here, KG uh, has agreed to waive his no trade clause. So basically, Boston gets uh, Chris Humphreys, Wallace, uh, Shingaila, Evans, Bogans, or Pierce, Garnett, or Jason Terry. That's a crazy trade. So basically, if you look at their potential lineup, it would be Brooke Lopez, Garnett, Paul Pierce, Joe Johnson, and Darren Williams. That's a stacked team. That's a very, that's a veteran team. I think they'll really challenge the Heat. I mean, who's think about it? Who's up at the top right now for the Eastern Conference? Let's take a look. These the regular season standings for the Eastern Conference. You got Miami, New York, Indiana, Brooklyn. Brooklyn might surpass Indiana. New York might fall down a little bit. It really depends how they play. They started off really well in the, early in the season. Boston's just going to keep falling. Who else is here? Atlanta, if Josh Smith leaves, they're going to keep falling. Rose comes back. I say they're in a the mix for 3-4, maybe 2. It really depends on just injuries and um, how healthy a team is. But the bottom here is wide open. Anything between 5 to 8. I believe Philadelphia is going to keep dropping. They drafted Noel, or Noel, whatever his name is. Uh, they traded, um, sorry, they traded Drew Holiday for him. So Drew Holiday is going to the Pelicans. So they're going to keep falling down, I believe. I don't think they're going to fight for a playoff spot. Milwaukee is going to stay around 7-8. Toronto my head up a little bit with a full training camp with uh, DeRozan and Gay. Washington might move up as well, and of course uh, you got Cleveland because uh, they've got some good pieces as well Me personally, I feel like it's unfair for the Celtics But they want to unload cap and I want this trade to go down so someone can compete with the Miami Heat Also, I don't think the Celtics have enough pieces to help them contend anymore They'll be up there in terms of wins, but Rondo just came off his injury. Paul Pierce is getting old KG is definitely really old I'm actually really shocked that Pop Pierce is even included in the trade proposal. He played like what, 15, 16 years with Boston? There's no doubt that he's going to get his jersey retired in Boston when he retires. He's like in the top leaders for almost every category in uh, Boston's franchise history. Still really shocked by this. What's your opinion on this? Do you think these guys will compete with the Miami Heat? Should we be anticipating uh, a Brooklyn Nets versus Miami Heat Eastern Conference Finals every year from now on? Or um, will this trade not, maybe not even go through? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below.